Welcome everyone to a brand new series. That's right. Welcome everyone to Death Wish. Codename Soap here. Coming at you today with a brand new Skyrim adventure. So, not going to do a lot of recap. But, let's at least establish where we're at. Catface Meowmers is in this new universe, this new Skyrim, if you will, that we've been in for Way of the Assassin Legend Killer. He is there. However, things are a little bit different. Um, no, this is not a different cat face. This is the same cat face from Master Assassin, Resurrection, Arcane Assassin. It's the same one. He is just now been transported here. As you know, we do deal with the occasional bit of uh, time travel and things like that in the stories we like to tell. So, when does this take place in the grand scheme of things? This takes place before and during the events of Legend Killer. So right now, this is before all of that. Completely before. Catface here has basically figured out along the way that he cannot die. He has been cursed somewhere along the way that may or may not be revealed along the way of who cursed him, why, all that fun stuff. But yes, he has been killed along the way. Or not killed. He has been cursed. <laughs> cursed along the way. So as you, some of you know, Catface has never died. And that's not because of his skill. That's because of his curse. So, Catface right now is older. Actually older. I mean, he doesn't physically look older, but inside. Considerably older. Um... He has forgotten a lot of things he's done, accomplishments, uh, people along the way. Um, but he does have certain instincts. And those instincts make him, uh, or make him out to be a, a decent hunter. Um, he's good at sneaking. You know, good with a bow. Things like that. But any skills that he may have had prior to here, you know, things that you're used to seeing Catface with... He's forgotten those, because it's been a long, long time, and he hasn't used it. The reason he hasn't used any of those skills is because, like I said, he's got this curse. He can't die. And what will happen is that if, indeed, he does get struck down, you know, in a battle, uh, mauled by an animal, fall off of High Hrothgar, whatever, he will basically come back. But he will be in such immense pain that basically accelerates that internal aging. So externally, Catface is looking all right. Looking brand spanking new. But, like I said, internally, it ages his mind, ages his soul, and some of his skills, if you will. So right now, we're just going to take you through basically... A day in the life of Catface Meowmers right now. And this series is going to be a little bit different um, than the usual. It's going to be more visual storytelling in a way. Um, yes, I will chime in with some bits of storytelling. But, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to let what's on the screen do a lot of the storytelling. Of course, I'm going to be here throughout. I'm playing. I'm talking. All that fun stuff. Um... And that's really all there is to it for right now. But before we get started, as always, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoy. So, Catface, as you saw in the prologue, he set up camp right over here. He's got a, uh, a fresh kill for here in the morning. And uh, we're going to make some good use of it. So first thing, we're going to field dress it. Yes, there are mods. And all that fun stuff. Um, specifically around hunting and camping and things like that. Because that's what Catface does now. 
So let's field dress it. This will actually take a little bit of time, so it'll accelerate time a little bit. Actually, all of these things, the skin pelt, harvest ingredients, butcher meat, um, and all that fun stuff takes time to do, of course. So we're going to skin it. Yes, he's got a fresh kill first thing in the morning. So we're going to go through just harvest. Now, I'm not going to do this, or at least not going to show it every single time we, you know, do a kill. I just want you guys to see it at least once. Just to see how the process is. So, there we go. Elk out of the way. But yeah, we set up camp over here. Um, Catface is in, well, a bit of depression. Because of his curse. So, he spends his days hunting in the wilds. Going into Riften, which is right there. Um, buying and selling and trading and all that fun stuff. Mr. Fox, how you doing? Um, and then just drinking the night away at the B&B. And then going back out in the wilds and falling asleep under the stars. Doesn't really interact that much with people unless he has to. Um... And he, it's not necessarily that he avoids fights and confrontations. It's just he's not a, a really big fan of it. But we're going to at least spend part of the morning doing some hunting. So what we're going to look for is some stuff to hunt and or gather. So let's do a bit of that. Ah, there we go. Like I said, he has certain instincts that can help a hunter. Not much really around this area. So we'll just keep going. Deeper into the woods. I think we hear something. No, nope, nothing at all. Okay. And we'll just keep venturing. We'll keep hunting. And then, a little later on in the day, we will head into Riften. Sell, trade, do some craft, kind of our, you know, daily errands. And then we're going to head to the Bee and Barb. So right over here, we found a cave. Skeever out front. Took care of the skeever, but we did manage to get a good carcass of deer. So, I'm just going to drop it down because we can carry the carcass around. We're going to do all our field dressing here, and then we're going to head back into Riften. Cause you know, getting a little later on in the day, it's raining out. Um, you know, do our thing there. Head to the Bean Barb. If you've got the coin, you've come to the right place. Pull up a seat. All right, in the Bean Barb, we came into Riften. Kind of, uh, you know, broke down some of the pelts and things that we got. Made some materials. Chopped some firewood for our camp. Because our camp, you know, can change at any given moment, so we got to make sure have some wood on hand for that. You look like you could use a drink. What do you say to some cheap mead? If you've got the coin, you're welcome here. Otherwise, hit the road. Thanks, Kirava. <laughs> what can I get you? Mead? Wine? Let's get some. Let's save that appetite. Hmm? Let's get a little something to drink. Just a... F Straight up ale to start. Come back and see us. I always do. Okay. Ah, delicious. I'm selling the best meat in town for cheap. Interested? No thanks. <laughs> Welcome to the Bee and Barb, my lord. If I can interest you in one of our special drinks, you let me know. All right. 
Not really feeling the vibe of that place today. So what we'll do... Maybe just work on our craft a bit more. Never done an honest day's work in your life for all that coin you're carrying, eh, lad? Never done an honest oh, day's you. work in your life for all that <laughs> coin you're carrying, eh, lad? Well, actually, on the contrary, we have done honest work for any coin that we are carrying, so, uh... I'm sorry, what? I'm saying you've got the coin, but you didn't earn a septum of it honestly. I can tell. Okay. Well, my wealth is none of your business. Oh, but that's where you're wrong, lad. Wealth is my business. Maybe you'd like a taste. I mean, it wouldn't hurt to have some more money, you know, because then we could buy some more supplies. Of course, buy more drinks. So, uh, what do you have in mind? I've got a bit of an errand to perform, but I need an extra pair of hands. And in my line of work, extra hands are well paid. All right. What do I have to do? Simple. I'm going to cause a distraction. You're going to steal Medesi's silver ring from a strong box under his stand. Once you have it, I want you to place it in Branche's pocket without him noticing. All right. Well, why plant the ring on Branche? We we know who Branche is cuz you know, obviously Kevin to the market. We see him. So we kind of know who he is. We don't know him, know him though. There's someone that wants to see him put out of business permanently. That's all you need to know. Now, you tell me when you're ready, and we'll get started. Alright, well... There's something about this proposal. About just planning an item and taking an item. Something about that does ring familiar to us. So, uh... It's a weird feeling we're getting. But we can't quite explain it. So I'm ready. Let's get this started. Good. Wait until I start the distraction. Then show me what you're made of. Everyone, everyone. Oh, gather up. He's going right now. I have something amazing to show you that demands your attention. This way, everyone. Over here. Right now, he's basically just talking to the beggars. No pushing, no shoving. Plenty of room. There's only two people, Brynjolf. This isn't much of a distraction. Yeah. This way, everyone. Over here. Well, might as well get to it. <laughs> oh. Oh. Bush. Careful. Air bush. Hmm. Something about... I mean, there's the ring. But there's just that instinct of, we gotta take all of this. It just speaks to us, so... That's what we're doing. Gather round, all. You need to hear this. There's Bryn Shea, just sat Come down. On, what is it that... So, normally, in a time like this, we could use Night Eye. But that doesn't really help a lot, right? But we do have some improved Hunter's Night Vision. And it turned out to be crushed nerve root mixed with water. That was a simple misunderstanding. But this item is the real Okay. And we shall place. Well, I see that my time is up. Come back tomorrow. If you're looking for anything to sell for a fair price, I run the pond prawn over by the market. All right, Bercy. Everyone's gone. Looks like I chose the right person for the job. And here you go, your payment. Just as I promised. The way things have been going around here, it's a relief that our plan went off without a hitch. Okay. Well, I mean, even though we come here, you know, semi-frequently, we don't really deal with the dealings and the goings-on, so what has been going on? Nah. My organization's been having a run of bad luck. But I suppose that's just how it goes. 
But never mind that. You did the job, and you did it well. Best of all, there's more where that came from. If you think you can handle it. Okay. Well, I think we can handle it. All right, then. Let's put that to the test. The group I represent has its home in the Ratway beneath Riften, a tavern called the Ragged Flagon. Get there in one piece, and we'll see if you've really got what it takes. Okay. We, we've heard of this Ratway from beggars and things like that, you know. Speaking of... Please. Please, I need but a septum. A septum is all I ask. Is that so bad? Nope, not bad at all. Here you go. Oh, thank you. Divines, bless your kind heart. Mm -hmm. Okay, but yeah, we've we've made you know a couple of contacts with people, not not on a friendly basis, but we definitely know about the rat way. We've heard about it. So let's just head on over. Okay. We've never been in the Ratway, but we've heard some stories. Time to see if they're true. 